Editable mesh, edit geometry rollout, slice plane and slice buttons. Now I'm going to draw a box and I'm going to have two segments and I'm going to just draw a box and I'm just showing hidden lines with edge faces here and I'm going to draw another separate box All right, and now I got two boxes here. Now this first one, um, I'm going to right click and convert this to an editable mesh. And then this one, I'm going to right click and convert to an editable poly. Now in the editable mesh, I want to come down and select in the sub object. I'll select in a polygon and I'm going to pick on this polygon. Now what I like to do is slice this into more division lines so we can edit this little area better. So I'm going to turn on my slice plane. When my slice plane, I turn that on, I do not get my gizmo to show up. I think this is a bug, but I'm not sure. Um, but I'm going to turn this off. Now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to go back to, and uh, what I'll do is I'm going to go to my editable poly this time. I go to polygon, and I'm going to pick on a polygon. Now this is on an editable poly. This was an editable mesh. Now in this particular case, I want to come down to my edit geometry down here, and I have a slice plane, and I'm going to turn that on. You can see I get this slice plane, which is this yellow line, and a gizmo. And so I can move this wherever I want. And where I, I'm going to slice it right where this plane cuts through the whole object. To do that, I hit slice. Now I'm going to move it again. I'll move slide it up. And I can hit slice. And I can even rotate this. Right? So I can even spin this around type thing. And uh, I can come down, get it right on the money. I can now right click and say move. And I can slide, move it right over here. And I'll say slice. Now I'll take the slice plane off. And you can see at this point I've added some more tessellization lines in here. So I could come up and do like a select and move. I can pick on one of them. And I can grab a hold of that thing, and I can pull it out by that tessellization line. So this is how it's supposed to work. So the slice plane and the slice work in the edible poly, but in the edible mesh, I can't seem to get it to work. There's some references online of some bugs, but I can't verify that. I don't know if it's me or it's the bug or what's going on here, but uh, this is how it works in both uh, in the poly for sure, and in the edible mesh, I'm not really sure what's causing the problem here. Um, but if you want to take a look at slicing a plane in, in the slice, I would give it a test run on a editable poly first.